I think women in particular are just feeling incredibly fed up um, with the with the movement at the moment because we're not seeing much change. And when you don't see change and everything's just, you know, sitting on the side of your mind and you're hearing about more and more women and children and people part of the LGBTQIA plus community being killed, it really puts a dampener on your spirits. The primary focus of us with this memorandum is to address um, COVID-19 and the impact that social distancing and lockdown has had on gender-based violence in our country. The reason it's not as big is because people really see these movements as a trend. People think that, okay, if we chant now, here and there, tomorrow it's going to die off. This is everyday life. Gender-based violence is not the, only the extreme cases that we see on the news, but it's everyday life. It's insidious. It's subtle. As a people, we need to really stand in solidarity. The government will not hear us as just a little protest at Parliament, but they will hear us if everybody takes part. There's so much power in one voice.